गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी माई नेम इज डॉक्टर गगन वोरा एंड आई हैव बिन टीचिंग बायोलॉजी सिंस ट्वेंटी ईयर्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट वट शुड वी डू फोर्टी एट आवर्स बिफोर नीट एज यू नो दैट नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इज गोइंग टू हैपन ऑन ट्वेल्थ ऑफ द सेप्टेम्बर सो देर मस्ट बी लॉट ऑफ एप्रीहेंशन एंड टेंशन इन योर माइंड दैट वॉट शुड वी डू uh just two days before this exam most of you must have completed your syllabus uh, this is the most important thing now you can do and uh, at this juncture when you are a uh, few hours away from your exam i must tell you that you should not study any new thing the first and the most important thing is don't study any new chapter or new topic this is the time where you need to revise all the things which you have studied previously if you study a new topic at this moment this will create lot of confusion this is the basic thing everybody would tell you at this junction uh, there are few things which you must keep in your mind uh, what happens generally students have a tendency to talk to their friends and talk to their mates and talk to the other people around you because you are under tremendous pressure so what happens that you try to relieve your pressure by talking to your friend i must say that at this juncture you must isolate yourself because when you start chit chatting with your friend Say for example, you are studying and you call your friend. He or she will say that, "Oh, I am under tremendous pressure. You know, my 15 chapters are left. I haven't done inorganic chemistry. I haven't done plant physiology. I cannot uh, remember morphology. I cannot understand what is happening in heat and thermodynamics. I cannot understand what is happening in inorganic chemistry. I don't remember the reactions of the inorganic chemistry." So they will try to. put their confusions their problems into your mind so the best way before the 48 hours i mean uh, this during this time is to isolate yourself isolate yourself don't talk to anybody because talking to somebody who are very close to will also create problem will also create tension in your mind isolate yourself don't use whatsapp don't use social media because there must be lots of rumors around the corner in the social media uh, in the uh, i mean facebook on the facebook in the on the whatsapp on the whatever you, social media you are using they will try to create lot of pressure they will try to create lot of tension by spreading all type of rumors somebody will say that neat is going to be cancelled somebody say that uh, x or y z is happening uh, the paper will come very tough the paper will be very easy all these are useless things nobody knows about the question paper nobody knows about the exam so isolate yourself and try to concentrate try to revise whatever you have studied till now i would say that uh, you should revise all the ncert book properly you must have made notes also you can go through no, do, go through those notes also read ncert at least once Uh, now you cannot read ncert uh, page by page so you can read it unit by unit you can revise it very very fast you can turn on the papers you can watch the figures diagrams important diagram similarly in case of physics and chemistry you can revise formulas these things are important you can revise the physical chemistry formula you can revise the physics formula now you cannot study any new topic because the new topic takes some time to get absorbed in your mind so it is not advisable to study anything new revise everything which has been done previously number 2 when you go to the examination center uh, you already know that the basic uh, requirements you should carry your admit card you should reach examination hall well before time the uh, time i i if i am not wrong the reporting time is 1 pm because the exam starts at 2 pm The reporting time is one one pm. So try to uh, 
try to go to the examination center a little bit early you should reach there by 12 o'clock at least because that will uh, give you peace of the mind you can get adjusted over there and you can relax and you can think over your strategy now one more thing which i have noticed in uh, my experience what happens when you go to the examination center uh, there must be some students who are again trying to create confusion in your mind by asking unnecessary questions now don't talk to any a strange student or stranger student or anything any any student you don't know because sometimes what happens the student might come to you and he or she may ask you a question which you don't know then again that creates a lot of pressure in your mind because just before the examination you are confused about that question you don't know that question oh i i don't know this question what should i do uh, no need to talk to any student the best best way is to isolate yourself reach examination hall uh, well in time if the reporting time is one o'clock try to reach half an hour before that and sit there relax and have your uh, tea or cup or coffee or whatever you want to have cold drink but but don't talk to any student don't talk to any parent also because they will also try to create problem they will also try to create uh, tensions in your mind. My son has gone to fla fla coaching. My son has done this course. My son has my son has read this book. This book is very important because there are lots of people who are who are uh, trying to put their thoughts in your mind. So isolate yourself, relax, and try to focus and don't take unnecessarily tension. See, see, nervousness uh, happens. Nervousness happens with everybody. If you are going to examination hall, everybody gets nervous. If a person does not get does not get nervous, then he or she is abnormal. Why nervousness happens? Because you have studied. Two people never get nervous. Number one, who don't study, who have no knowledge, and second, who are overconfident. If you are nervous, if you are scared, this is a good sign. This is a good sign because you are going to perform very well. And this nervousness is only for initial few minutes. For example, when you are writing exam. Sometimes you happen, you have palpitation, you have uh, trembling of your hands, you get, uh, your nose gets cold, your ear gets cold, uh, you start sweating also. <laughs> cold and sweating both can <laughs> happen simultaneously, something like that. So these things are not bad signs, these are good signs. Because when you get nervous, your concentration is at peak. When your concentration is at peak, that means you are going to perform very good. So don't scare off nervousness. Sometimes it happens, but it will subside after a few time. After a few minutes, when you start writing your exam, when you start seeing the question paper, it will subside. One more important thing, most important thing I would like to tell you. Somebody will tell you outside the examination hall or during the preparation that you need to score more than 650. 720 is the total mark. Somebody will definitely must have told you or during the uh, preparation you must be uh, discussing about this thing that uh, I should score more than 650 see by sitting in the examination hall when you are sitting in the examination hall you can never predict what is happening in entire India this exam is pan India so how can you calculate the cutoff by sitting at in the examination center so never try to calculate your questions what I'm trying to explain you is Sometimes uh, students uh, have a preconceived idea or they get biased that I have to score 650. I have now you are during the uh, I mean when you are solving the question paper you see that I have solved only 150 questions 150 into 4 is 600. Oh, oh I have scored only 600. So they will start making guesses wild guesses which is very very dangerous because when you start making wild guesses you get negative marking. So never calculate your score uh, when you are solving the question paper. When you are, try to calculate your score, you get under tremendous pressure. You start making wild guesses, which which will again create a uh, which will again create a negative marking in your uh, exam. So never calculate. Read your question. Do proper justice to every question. Don't. Uh, give, uh, don't uh, give undue respect to any question. See, sometimes what happens, people uh, think that every question is tricky. See, if you, if, if we, if we take a sample size, if we have 10 questions, out of 10, 7 questions are very, very easy. Rest of the 3 questions, 8th and 9th question, they are difficult and 10th question is for topper. So, most of the questions are easy. 
don't think that every question is tricky sometimes students think that every question is tricky so they try to use their unusual kind of uh, iq for solving that question so they make mistakes read the question properly take a deep breath relax think over it and answer most of the questions are easy you will, you will definitely solve them there are some questions which are tricky but never try to calculate your score when you are solving the paper if you try to calculate your score while solving the paper definitely you are going to make wild guesses and if you are making wild guesses you are going to get negative mark this is very very important this uh, one more important thing would i would i would like to emphasize is this time you have a change pattern uh, you have uh, two sections the section a is compulsory mandatory where you have 35 questions of physics chemistry botany and zoology each and in section 2 you have uh, 15 questions so out of 15 you have to select 10 10 for physics 10 physics chemistry 10 botany 10 zoology so this is this situation is little bit tricky earlier we usually we have we, earlier in uh, previous years we had only 180 questions now we have 200 questions and in section 2 you have to pick 10 questions out of 15 in every subject you know that so this becomes a little bit tricky now what happens sometimes you get confused which question should i select so you should be very very careful while leaving the question you should be very quick and very careful while reading the question you should select the questions very wisely because if you select a wrong question again you are going to get negative mark so this is very very important section b becomes very very important while selecting the question you should first understand that this topic i know very well if you are very confident about the topic select the question if you are not confident leave it sometimes it happens <laughs> that you you are you are very much confident about that topic still the question becomes wrong happens entrance exam is a big leveler sometimes you don't know anything about the topic and still you uh, do the question right and sometimes you know everything about the topic still your question is wrong so entrance exam is a three hour game you need to be very very smart you need to be very very accurate and you need to be very very calculative also while selecting the questions this time the section b is going to be very important it will play an important part for selection the selection criteria is going to be section b so you need to be very very careful while selecting uh, one more thing i would like to uh, add here that uh, sometimes what happens uh, students try to make wild guesses in the last 15 or 20 minutes sometimes it happens sometimes when you feel that uh, my score is not at par or i am getting only 560 or 70 marks they start making wild guesses never do wild guesses you never know what is going to be cut off cut off nobody can predict cut off there is no person in india who can predict the cut off while writing the exam right so you never know this time cut off may be low this time cut off may be higher so no don't have any fixed or biased idea about the cut off if you are biased about the cut off you are going to commit error so don't make wild guesses right so these are the important things i wanted to mention you uh, i think uh, you must be all you must have all studied properly and you have, must have prepared well so i wish you all the best uh, be good be uh, do best and uh, uh, i wish you that you come out of the exam with flying colors and you get uh, your uh, dream medical college and may god bless you and may god give you success so that you get the best of the medical college that is aims new delhi thank you very much all the best take care